Hello, everybody. Well, Fang here. Today is Tuesday, September the 17th. It's my wife's birthday. Mm -hmm. So, how was everybody's day? Mine was good, except for the job I was doing. It was a pain in the ass. <laughs> and at the end of the day, too, just enough to aggravate me. Oh, well. That's life, I guess, huh? So, uh, it seems like the big news with this dude that was thinking about shooting Trump or maybe shooting at golf balls or whatever he was planning on shooting at. Um, it's coming out that that spot was used by paparazzi. And this dude was there for 12 hours. That's it's kind of fishy. Um, if they knew that was a known spot for paparazzi, why didn't they uh, go ahead and check that spot out when they found out Trump was going to go golfing? I don't know. So I wanted to throw that out there before I forgot about it. And uh, the next news is about exploding pagers this one blew me no pun intended this blew me away i'm still trying to wrap my head around it. uh <laughs> this this news comes from bbc Pay, pager explosions will devastate hezbollah's moral and manpower um so this happened earlier today, these pager explosions. It says, <clears throat> it is hard to think of an attack more calculated to sow fear and confusion. Hezbollah rely, uh, relies heavily on pagers for the group's communications. Mobile phones have long since been abandoned as simply too vulnerable as Israel's assassinations on Hamas bombmaker demonstrated as long ago as 1996. Now, see, I didn't know that. They said pagers. I was like, man, pagers are like from when? But today's attacks were terrifying in their scope. Hezbollah members were blown up in supermarkets, on the street, in their cars, at home, next to their children. Incidents were reported from all across Lebanon, from Beirut to the AK Valley, even from neighboring Syria. Iranian state TV confirmed that Tehran's ambassador in Lebanon was among those injured. Each, each explosion may have been small, but some resulted in catastrophic injuries. One particular graphic image showed a lifeless young man slumped in a barber's chair, his face bloody. At a time when Hez, uh, Hezbollah and Israel had been locked in low-level war for most, almost a year, these attacks will have devastating consequences for Hezbollah's manpower, communications, and morale. Israel has yet to com uh, comment. But this was undoubtedly its work. No other group or country has the motivation or capacity to do something like this. It is the latest in a series of sophisticated military and undercover operations that have included since mid-July, a long-range air raid in Yemen, as well as assassinations in Beirut and Tehran. Do the pager attacks herald a larger Israel operation with larger numbers of Hezbollah's personnel now injured and its vital communications network massively and embarrassingly disrupted this would uh, clearly be a tempting moment for Israel to take advantage Israel leaders have been signaling in recent days their desire to alter the military status quo along the uh, Lebanese border on Sunday, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Israel needed a change in the balance of power 
on our northern border. Tens of thousands of Israel citizens have spent most of a year away from their homes. Israel ordered an evacuation of vulnerable northern communities with Hezbollah starting, uh, started firing rockets into the northern Israel soon after the Gaza war began. Months of retaliatory Israel airstrikes have also forced huge numbers of Lebanese, uh, Lebanese civilians to abandon their homes. On Monday, Mr. Netanyahu and his defense minister, uh, Yava Gallant, both warned a visiting U.S. official that Israel was prepared to do whatever it took to ensure its security. For the first time, the government also said its Gaza war aims included <clears throat> allowing Israel to return to their home, raising the specter of a wider conflict, possibly involving a limited ground invasion to create a buffer zone in southern Lebanon. There are no signs yet of the sort of buildup of men and armor that would be needed for a major military insurgent. But today's attacks represent yet another dangerous escalation. It is hard to see how Hezbollah won't feel compelled to respond in some way. Very true. You know they will. They're over there going, you, we'll, we'll get you. But what I'm intrigued with, and I know how to turn a computer on. I know how to search. I know how to do all that stuff. Well, I'm still learning how to edit. But the programming part to to um, hack into a bunch of pagers and have them all blow up at around the same time, or if not at the same time. It's, you know, I, I'm not a hacker. I'm not a, I don't like programs. I know all that stuff is like, it's all zeros and all ones. But I don't know. That's, <laughs> even if that's true, I don't know. But it's, it's, I find it amazing that some hackers went in, da, 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 okay, these pages are, da, 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 and it's all for military, and boom. That's crazy. So if they can do that with pagers, who says they can't do it with this? It's the same type of battery, I think. So that's, that's some crazy shit right there. To me, that's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy, but it's like, how did they do that? It's kind of intriguing at the same time. But, uh, yeah, that's exploding pagers. And we had pagers back in, uh, what was it that? They come out in the middle 80s, late night? No. Middle 80s, maybe? I don't, I don't, I, man, it's, I don't know. I just remember pagers. So, anyway, it's Tuesday. I'm gonna chill with the wife. We're gonna have a groovy evening, and uh, that's about it. I can't think of anything else. I got my brain's going a mile a minute with all the all the stuff I've been reading today. Because the pager thing, that came out while I was at work. I was like, what is this? So, everybody have a great Tuesday evening. This is Wolf Fang. Blessed be, stay safe, and I'll bullshit with y'all later. Bye.